Hello and welcome back to Curable Space Program. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. Namely, we are going to do some test launches. While browsing the internet, I found a very nice YouTube channel by a guy named Don Lorenzo and he is playing KSP with realistic solar system. I really liked his channel and his series and I fully recommend you to go and watch them. But while watching, I was thinking about this mod and I decided to do some test flights with the realistic solar system to check how the game works and how the drag and everything is calculated. So let's try it first with stock parts. This is basically the game with realistic solar system and joint reinforcement mods to make sure that our rocket doesn't fall apart. The rocket got about 9.4k delta V which should be enough to get into the lower earth orbit and stay there. Because we are not intending to go back down we are having very very small payload of just a tiny probe with a couple of solar panels and battery. And it is going to be the same payload for each and every launches in this video. So we are approaching 60,000 meters, our epapsis is 85,000 and we have approximately 5000 delta V left with our speed being 1.5 meters per second 1.5 thousand of course okay we are approaching the separation of the payload and it is our last stage and we can already say that we are nowhere near the orbital velocities and we only have 2000 delta V and it is not going to be enough to get into the orbit. So, the basic design with enough delta V to get into the low earth orbit doesn't work. It simply requires more delta V with stock parts but maybe we haven't done it efficiently enough. What if we try it again and we try being more efficient with our fuel consumption and try to keep our atmospheric efficiency as close to 100 as possible while we are sending through the lower stages of the atmosphere. Okay. So we are rising, we are at 20,000 meters and time for our gravity turn. Separation of ascent stage. And it looks approximately the same way as before. Maybe we got a bit more efficient, but I'm not really sure. We are approaching atmosphere edge. Our apopsis is almost out of the atmosphere, but we don't have enough delta V and we're definitely not going to make it. Okay, so what can we change about our game to make sure that our craft works? Well, there are multiple things we can do. The first thing is we can add this mod called Realism Overhaul which is supposedly changes the data of all engines to more closely correspond the real life values. So let's try it that way. We are adding only this mod and nothing else. Okay, let's launch. Our rocket definitely has a little bit more delta V it's approximately 10.5 thousand meters 
per second now. And we are following the practically same ascent profile as in our previous launch. So first we are going to get out of the thick part of the atmosphere. Then we're going to execute our gravity turn. All the while trying to stay close to the atmospheric efficiency at 100%. And we are rising quite rapidly. Our apoapsis is already outside of the turbine atmosphere, or it will be in a second. But our velocity is still not close enough to the orbital. We still have 3000 delta V, but our velocity will end at approximately 6.6 thousand meters, and that's not enough to get into the orbit. Well, what else can we do? We can change the atmospheric model of the game with the help of Ferrum Aerospace Research Mod. And this will change the way our rocket works in the atmosphere very, very drastically. Please bear in mind that I'm not Scott Manley and I cannot calculate the proper ascent stage and proper path in my head while at the same time trying to figure out the meaning of universe and everything in it. That means that it is not going to be as efficient as it can be. But hopefully it will be efficient enough to get into the orbit. We launched the same craft, but we are following a bit different ascent profile, because with Ferrum Aerospace it is better to start the gravity turn earlier and do it more gradually. So, we are already with our apopsis above the atmosphere and we just jettisoned our first stage. And we still have almost five and a half thousand delta V. Hmm. And our velocity is more than 2000 meters per second. I think this might work. Let's find out. We are accelerating. And unfortunately we have to point a little bit up. Because our ascent wasn't as shallow as I would like it to be. And we are, don't have enough thrust to actually push our apopsis ahead of us. So let's wait a little bit. We are at 6000 meters per second. We still have a ton of delta V. 7000 meters per second. Actually we are in the orbit. I somehow missed this part. So, just adding Ferrum Aerospace and flying it not very efficiently gives us enough delta V to get into the orbit and get back home, because we still have approximately 600 meters. So now let's try with Ferrum Aerospace and realism overhaul engines. Apparently it should be even better and we should be able to achieve the orbit even faster and with more delta V left. It also means that we need to be much more precise with our maneuvering and more careful with gravity turn. Not something I might say I know how to do properly. So we are at 70,000 our apopsis is 140 meters and we are above the atmosphere. Apopsis at 155 and we're still using our ascent stage. I'm pretty sure that it could have been done even better with 
less fuel consumption, but for our test it should be sufficiently good. Ok, we are at 2.2 thousand meters per second, we still have enough delta V and it looks like we're going to make it, probably with the same amount of delta V left as before, but it is probably due to our inefficient ascent profile. Our apopsis is already at 175, much higher than it was before, well, not much higher but 20 kilometers, and we can burn a little bit more, ending at our apopsis around 230 kilometers and periapsis of 157, still got 633 delta V left and that means that we actually got it more efficiently than just with Ferrum Aerospace because we still got same delta V in higher orbit. Now just for fun and giggles, we are going to use KW Rocketry Pack, B9 Aerospace Pack, Realism Overhaul and FAR. And this is our monstrosity. It is specifically made out of much heavier parts and much more powerful parts than required. It could have been actually much smaller, but I've done it just to make it look pretty and not to be efficient. And if there are any aerospace engineers there, don't look at the screen, it is horrible. Alright, we are above the atmosphere already and all we need to do is get enough horizontal velocity to get into the orbit. Our apopsis is 172 and we are at 170 kilometers ourselves and I think we got enough delta V even though we used horrible ascent profile. And on that note, we are going to end this video while our probe is getting into the orbit. As always, remember to like, dislike and comment this video in the section below. My name is Darlok and I will see you next time. Goodbye.